ready to be transported to where? Um, another dimension. Rod, Rod Serling's here. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction TV. This is Corbin. Picture, if you will, a stupid channel. You can follow us on Instagram it's and Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you for watching. Hey, John, follow us. Kindly, the other day, we got a notification squad. It's so juicy. We need subs for when you do that. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure they know what I'm saying. They? Uh, what about a new person who just comes along and finds us? There are no new people here. Yeah, there. Hi. Um, but uh, today we're reacting to uh, a Debar Festival uh, video. What? It's the second time what? this has happened. What? When you said we're going to do a Debar Festival, and I thought you were going to say we're going to react to a Debarge, an El Debarge. Video. Uh, we reacted to. Remember those sisters? We reacted to uh, sisters. Yes, sisters. The classical singing. Uh, uh, they're duo. I don't know if they're sisters, but they're uh, okay. The duo. Uh, the the two sisters. Uh, anyways, uh, stunning. Say this name. Chandrakans and Madakans, Ranjani and Gayatri. So, yes. Yes, you this is that. ringing a bell to me now. Yes, thank You'll you. You'll recognize them when you. I'm sure I will. But uh, all of the Debar stuff has always been fantastic. It, yep. And it kind of just transports you into another world. Yep. So, see you in another world. Ready, relax. <laughs>
Yeah, I mean, it's like... It's like, it makes you feel like you have no talent. It's like, it's <laughs> like when I hear, like, uh, if I hear Neil deGrasse Tyson mm -hmm. talking to colleagues, you know, like that kind of, not talking to other people he's teaching, but if he's actually talking in, or, or you, you read a book in that realm of people who have that level of understanding of mathematics and science, right? Mm -hmm. you, and you just, you just don't understand a word they're saying. Just don't understand anything they're saying. Mm. They all understand each other, but the, 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 the references that they're making to things, you're like, mm-hmm, no idea what you're saying. That's what it's like listening to not just her singing, but all of all them. All of them, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's like jazz improvisation Taken, taken to nuclear physics level. Yeah, it really is, and I, I know there's structure to it that those of you who know it would say, yeah, you probably get it if you understood. They're just counting off these particular things. Yeah, but still. Yeah, but still. Yeah. Because it isn't, it isn't just the counting off of the things. It's the feeling of the music and being connected to each other. I loved watching their body language because the other sister didn't sing. Yeah. But their body language often yeah. was exact. Exactly. So she knew exactly what she was going to do. What she was going to do. Da, 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 da. Her left hand was moving right along with hers. Just, just beautiful, beautiful, fine artistry. Yeah. That, and I didn't understand what she was saying when she was saying two ragas. Are they the, who, what's the, are they the ragas? No, the raga is, <coughs> forgive me, because we're still learning, but I think my understanding of a raga is, uh, it's it's a particular form of musical interpretation that happens in the midst of the song. It's a period of the song where a raga is done, and it lasts for a certain amount of time, mm, okay. uh, like an improvisational thing. Like okay. in jazz, you say, "We're well, for twenty four measures, we're going to do this." Yeah, uh, and it, you know, measure twenty four, we're going to change the rhythm. So for twenty four measures, we're going to be in this feel. Mm -hmm. Well, a raga will have changes of feel for a certain period of time. So I guess what they just did was freaking blend two kinds of ragas. Mm. Ah, it's, it, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. Beyond me. Yeah, it's obviously stuff we can't understand, but we can definitely appreciate. And we've been able to appreciate it since we first heard it. Because it's just, it sounds so beautiful. Beautiful. And so and, unique. And you can hear the syncopation. I mean, you don't, it doesn't take <laughs> a rocket scientist, yeah. pun intended, to appreciate the difficulty and also just a, a, the simplest exposure to Western music and hearing how pitch perfect she is in landing just underneath what we would call the tonic in Western music and then getting around it and under it and over it. It's just, the complexity is unbelievable. Impeccable. Just unbelievable. Yeah. It's a whole other, it is the, Neil deGrasse Tyson level of I'm, musical understanding. I'm hoping once, because they've reached out to us one year, I think it was last year, but it was like the week before um, DeBar was happening, right? Oh, I remember that. They, yes. DeBar reached out to us asking us if we wanted, wanted to, to go. Wanted to come. But obviously, we, my wife was pregnant, and it was like a week before. It was like a week yeah. before, so we had no time. But they literally, we could have gone. So we were like, okay, let's do it next year. But obviously, it's not happening this year. COVID 19. Um, and COVID 19. So I'm hoping one year we'll be able to go because this, everything oh. we've seen at this festival has been incredible. Incredible. Could you imagine? Yeah, this awesome. would be like when we got to see Ostagi Secure Hussein and company, like, Tenfold, yeah, you know, it'd be one after another, one after, after the other, after the other, like that. I would yeah. love to do that, that would be fantastic. Yeah, well, let us know more videos like this because we want to be transported. <laughs> Ding,